topic to discuss today. Oh my gosh. All right, what I'm going to talk about is does God really give us the desires of our heart? Hey y'all, it's your girl Shara, baby. You already know. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have a great topic to talk about today. Does God really give us the desires of our heart? Mm. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. All right. Why doesn't God give us the desires of our heart, heart as well? So I know a scripture. I'm going to read it for y'all. This scripture, I believe, is taken out of context a lot. Um, I'm going to read it. So it says, Psalms 37 and 4. It says, take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. I believe a lot of us take that scripture and it's like, okay, God, I pray for this. I want this. I, I want to be married, God. I want to have a husband and you still ain't blessed me. You said that you're going to give me the desires of my heart. So when is it going to happen? You expect God to do everything that you desire. And then when God doesn't do it, you feel as if, well, is God real? Or like, is, is he really God of everything? Because if he's God of everything, he can make anything happen for me. If he's God of everything, you know, he said that he'll give me the desire of my heart, but I don't have the desires of my heart. I want this man. I want this woman. I want this job. I want everything. I want all these things. And as God has not given it to you. So I think we're going to have to look at this scripture a little deeper and really decipher what we what it might be really talking about. All right. So for God to give you the desire of your heart, you have to understand about what God says the heart is. So let's I'm going to read another scripture for you. Jeremiah 17 and nine. It says the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? The Lord, I, the Lord, search the heart and examine the mind. Verse 10. So he's saying right here that the heart is deceitful above all things. So let's think. God said, if you delight myself in you, I'll give you the desires of your heart. Will God really give you the desires of your heart if he knows that the, the, the desires of your heart is deceitful? That's the first point. Are we going? We going? That's the first point right there. All right. I'm going to tie it all. I'm going to tie it all together in a second. All right. So in Ezekiel, or I'm going to tell y'all what I believe that this scripture is saying. Okay, this is what I believe that this scripture is saying. I'm going to read it one more time for you. Psalms 37 and 4 it says, take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desire of your heart. So I believe that this is saying as you continue to seek God, as you consider to continue to delight yourself in the Lord, that he will give you the desires of your heart. That means the more you seek him, the more you you, you search after him, the more you read your word, the more you desire the different, deeper things of God. He begins to give you the desires of your heart. So therefore, he puts in better desires. You know, sometime when, before we got saved and everything, we desire things of the world. We desire to smoke all the time. We desire to have premarital sex. We desire to do all these bad things. But as you see God and you delight yourself in God, he now gives you the desires of your heart. That means now you're start, starting to desire more things. I'm desiring to read my Bible all the time. I'm desiring to listen to worship music and not my ration music that I like me listening to. You know, I'm desiring new things. He will give you the desires of your heart. That means that he will put new desires in your heart. He will change you. It isn't God is not saying I will give you the desires of your heart. Because just know he said that the heart is deceitful in all things. And let's go to Ezekiel 36 and 26. It said, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. So that means that God is going to give us a new heart with new desires. You know, so when people say that scripture and it's like they use it, Christians use it a lot. And, oh, yeah, I desire to be a millionaire. I desire to do this. And God going to give me the desires of my heart. But God knows that the heart is deceitful. If you was a millionaire, guess what? You wouldn't share with nobody. You wouldn't start big orphanages and, and, and do all these things for, for widows. You wouldn't do that. You probably wouldn't be the one that would do that. That's why God is not... I can't bless you with a million dollars. You're going to go spend it. Who knows on a casino? I don't know. So he's not going to give us the desires of our heart because our hearts is ultimately deceitful. He said, I will give you the desires of your heart. He will place those, those holy desires, those righteous desires in our heart. We're no longer going to want to be in, in, in lust and, and all this debauchery. Like we don't no longer want to do it. He begins to work in the, in the inward parts of our hearts and in the inward parts of our being. He begins to work on. He begins to give us a new heart with new desires. That is what God is talking about. That is what he is saying. 
Hallelujah. I think that ju that just really touched me because it's like I know so many people, so many people get discouraged. You know, they're very discouraged right now and very like feel let down by God because it's like, God, I desire this thing. I desire to be uh, to have this job. I desire to move to another country. I desire these things. But God is saying, like, I'm going to give you the desires of your heart. So just because that scripture says that, which we took it out of context. Because like he said, the heart is deceitful. He'll give us the desires of our heart. That means everything we want, we might not get. We might not get what we want because our, uh, it's another scripture. Let me read this to you. So where is this scripture at? Let's see. Mm, 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 mm. So James four and three. Let me go to that. James four and three. All right. I'm going to just read the whole kind of thing. What causes fight and quarrels among you? Don't they come from your desires that battle within you? You desire, but do not have, so you kill. You covet, but you cannot get what you want, so you quarrel. I can't talk. Quarrel. Quarrel. Y'all, it's the New York. Quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask God. And when you ask you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. So doesn't that all tie in together? We want God to give us the desires of our heart. But he's saying right here that when you ask, you praying for stuff. And he like, you're not going to receive it because you're asking with the wrong motives. You're not asking God for a million dollars because you want to you want to help every homeless person you see. You're asking God for a million dollars because you want to buy it on nice cars and you want to ain't nothing wrong with, you know, buying what you got to do. But your desires isn't right when coming to God. God, I want a husband. You praying for a husband, you praying for a wife. But God is saying your desires and your motives is all you don't need wrong. You don't even know what the purpose of a wife or a husband coming into your life would be like you desiring it because you your 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 flesh is acting up. You're, you want to have let's be real. You want to have sex. Let's, let's keep it honest and real with each other. That's why you want a husband or a wife. He said, you're asking with wrong motives that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. That is why you do not have what you're asking God for. So once again, the motives of the heart, the heart is deceitful. God said he'll give us a new heart with new desires. He said, I will give you new desires in your heart. We got to understand that scripture, y'all. He's saying this is why some of us are praying and, and then we're turning away from God because we expect it when we come to this side and be with God that he was going to give us everything we want, everything we need, everything we, we long for. No, that's not what the word of God is saying. That's not what the word of God is saying, because if he gave us everything that we wanted, we needed. Guess what? We were on, a, on the highway to hell. OK, y'all. God, I want this man, this woman. She's so fine. I want her so bad. He said, you want to you you asking with wrong motives that you spend what you get on your pleasures you just want to pleasure yourself you're not saying what can i do to make this woman's life better what can i do to bring this man of god up more no i want to get married because of my flesh is hot it's it's burning it's it's, it's hot god has said you asked me with wrong motives hallelujah i want to get rich but you're asking with wrong motives God, I want to I want to elevate in ministry, but you asking wrong. I want to be a prophet. I want to be a prophet of God, but you asking with wrong motives because you you're desiring that so that people can boost you up. You're desiring the prophetic also but so that people can make your ego and your pride can get higher. He said you're asking with wrong motives. That is why you do not get desi desires. You have not because you ask not, but when you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives. The heart is deceitful. God now gives us a new heart. Uh, take out the stony heart and put a heart of flesh. He says, that's hot. It's, it's burning. It's, it's, it's hot. God has said, you asked me with wrong motives. Hallelujah. I want to get rich, but you're asking with wrong motives. God, I want to I wanna elevate in ministry, but you're asking with wrong motives. I want to be a prophet. I want to be a prophet of God, but you're asking with wrong motives because you, you're desiring that so that people can boost you up. You're desiring the prophetic also but so that people can make your ego and your pride can get higher. He said you're asking with wrong motives. That is why you do not get desi desires. You have not because you ask not. But when you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives. The heart is deceitful. God now gives us a new heart. Uh, take out the stony heart and put a heart of flesh. 
he says that he now gives us the desires of our heart, those desires that we once never had. Some of us once never, we never wanted to live right. We never wanted to do better. We ain't raised like that. We like to doing what we wanted to do, smoking, drinking, you know, lying, stealing, doing all the stuff. We love doing that. That was what we did. But God said, I'm now giving you the desires of your heart. That means you're desiring to read the word. You're desiring to go and feed the homeless. You're desiring to go to, to children's shelters. You're desiring to, to help people on the street. You're desiring things that you ain't never desired before. That is God giving you the desires of your heart. So, yeah, that's it. That's all I had to talk about. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, y'all got to make sure y'all subscribe too. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, share. Share this with somebody that needs it. All right? And if you have any questions, make sure you comment below. Comment your questions. If you want me to talk about any other topics, make sure you comment. Okay, y'all? I just thought this was really good. This was a really good topic for me because it helped me a lot. Because I'm like, God, it ain't even me asking that. But God, people would say, you desire this. God is going to do it because it's a desire of your heart. And I really had to dig in deeper to that. I'm like, God is not going to give us every desire of our heart. I know that didn't even make sense because our desires are most of the time selfish and, and wicked. Like, I want this. And, and God sees our motive in our mind. He sees it. So he's like, oh, they ain't getting that. So I hope that this helps somebody. I hope that this helps you. Once again, remember, you are blessed. Never stress. Okay? Peace out. <laughs>